The rhythm section is a gritty spy thriller, but does this espionage action movie lack a rhythm of its own? The rhythm section is a spy thriller and is based on the novel written by Mark Brunel. This movie comes from director Reed Morano, who's known for I Think We're Alone Now and a few episodes of The Handmaid's Tale. Blake Lively stars and is joined by Jude Law and Sterling K. Brown. We follow a woman who seeks revenge on the terrorists responsible for blowing up a plane and killing hundreds of people, including her entire family. Lively's pretty great in this movie. She gives what's obviously an emotionally and physically exhausting performance. She really transforms into the character she's portraying. And Murano delivers some really interesting visuals that not only evoke certain emotions, but really add a unique aesthetic that's not seen in too many movies like this. I will say, though, that this movie doesn't really do anything that makes it stand above other films in the spy genre. A lot of the plot feels recycled, and it's pretty predictable but it's still pretty entertaining and can even be suspenseful at times. Overall, the rhythm section is a pretty solid action thriller. Lively and Law give good performances, but the plot is a little predictable and the film has a bit of a pacing problem. There are some pretty intense action sequences and impressive visuals, but at the end of the day, there's really nothing groundbreaking about this movie. And that's why I give the rhythm section a 3.